Okay, Mama, Daddy, and Helga, I have exciting news. What is it, sweetie? Did you get accepted in a Harvard? She probably got syphilis again. No, I'm pregnant. You what? How the hell did that happen? How the fuck did you get pregnant? Well, Daddy, I figured you and Mama should know that better than anyone. When two people love each other very, very much, they start to have sex. No, you dumbass bitch. I meant, when the fuck did you start fucking in my damn house? Oh, well, Daddy, I never did anything in your house, silly. Remember all those times I said I was going to spend the night at my friend Veronica's house so we could study? Well, I was actually hooking up with my boyfriend. Oh, my God, Jesus. Why me, Lord? Why did I have to have a hoe for a daughter? Wait, so you're telling me that my sweet little innocent Olga isn't a virgin anymore? And I'm gonna be a grandmother? Oh, I'm so proud of you, sis. I can't wait to be a TT. So, anyways, how did you two meet? Well, we actually first met each other through her best friend, Veronica, who I was dating at the time. And at first, we were just jokingly flirting here and there. But then eventually, we started sneaking around for a couple of months. And it was great until I screwed up and got caught. So Veronica broke up with me and stopped being friends with Olga. But that didn't stop Olga and I from smashing. And after a while, she asked me out on a date to this fancy restaurant called the Waffle House. And it was there that she gave me the surprisingly shocking news that she was pregnant and wanted me to meet her family. Honestly, I was planning on pushing her down some stairs, but that clearly didn't work, because here we are. And you know what? I'm truly glad to be here with my snuggle bunny. Ah. Uh, That's the most stupidest shit I ever heard in my fucking life. Daddy, they remind me of one of those dysfunctional Jerry Springer couples. He also taught me how to hot two on his dingling. See, this is what happens when there ain't enough ass whoopings in the world. All these dumbass young girls getting pregnant before they even finish school. Trust me, honey, I made the same mistake when I was your age, and I speak from experience when I say you're going to wish you had an abortion. <gasps> oh, my God, Mama, I can't believe you want me to kill my baby. Don't listen to your dumbass Mama and Daddy, boo, because we're going to be better parents than they ever was. Hey, boy, you better play with your dick. Don't play with me. Because you can get your ass beat real quick trying to talk shit in my house. Now, we might have made a lot of bad decisions like having kids to begin with, but we did the best we could raising Olga and Helga. It ain't our fault that didn't turn out right. Daddy, why would you say some fucked up shit like that about me and my sister? Look, now you made Olga cry. <laughs> I hate myself for still loving you both despite the fact that I found out my own parents never even loved me or wanted me. If y'all can't accept me or my baby, then I don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> hey, wait for me, baby. It's about damn time. I've been waiting years for this bitch to finally move out. So, uh, Brad, if you're going to be taking care of my daughter and my grandbaby, then I just got to know, what the hell does a nigga that's popping my daughter's coochie do for a living? Well, sir, I'm actually a rapper. A rapper? Does the world really need another trash-ass white rapper? I mean, we already got Eminem. Who the hell are you supposed to be, Skittles? Man, hell nah. They call me B-Rad in these streets, nigga. I used to sell drugs and do them too, but I turned my life around. This nigga full of shit. Ever since I lost my dead homies during a shootout, I promised myself that I would make it out the hood by any means necessary. Well, Brad, I can't really say you turned your life around for the better, but you made a plan and you set a goal and you did everything you could to achieve it. And for that, you have my respect, Brad. I'm proud to call you my future son-in-law. My daddy's stupid as fuck for believing this bullshit. Hey, Olga, you know I put my... Oh, shit, my fault, Miss Pataki. Is that you, girl? I could have sworn you were Olga for a second with all that ass back there. You know, I used to tell her to shake what her mama gave her, but clearly you kept a lot of it for yourself. Oh, stop, Brad. I just decided to have a little work done and got myself a BBL. Well, Miss Pataki, I'd be more than obliged to help you test it out by getting behind that motherfucker and making it clap, if you know what I mean. Ugh. Come on, Brad. You're my daughter's baby daddy. Besides, I'm already married to Big Bob. Even though these days he's not really big, he's just small and limp. Damn, you right. But I could really knock the cobwebs off that coochie since your husband ain't hitting that thing like he's supposed to now. This nigga really trying to fuck my mama. That's crazy. Brad, 
Brad, huh? you ain't hear me calling you, boy? What the hell you doing up in here? I was trying to tell you that they got LeBron and his son playing basketball together on TV right now. Get your ass in here and watch it with me. That's all he ever cares about these days is watching his basketball games or his football games. He never wants to satisfy me anymore. Well, if you ever need your guts rearranged by a real nigga, then just let me know. Okay, so if Brad sleeps with my mama and I record them, then that means my parents are going to get a divorce, which means my daddy is probably going to end up killing my mama and Brad. Meaning I'll finally be free from my family because ain't no way in hell I'm living with Olga and her baby. This is perfect. Well, if it isn't the fam, come on in and make yourselves at home. And please try not to step on any of the roaches, all right? You guys finally made it to my apartment. I would offer you a glass of Kool-Aid, but we don't have any sugar. Anyways, I'm heading off to work at the studio because these bills ain't gonna pay theyself, you feel me? Olga, where is the baby at? The baby is sleeping in the other room. <coughs> okay, I guess now she's awake. <coughs> Daddy, Brad always hits me and I'm pretty sure he's cheating on me too. <laughs> well, that's your damn fault. I told you from the get-go that nigga was no good, but your little fast ass thought you were grown and didn't want to listen to me. Now you got a baby and you done dropped out of school and your baby daddy ain't got no damn job and y'all living in this raggedy-ass apartment where the roaches are your landlord and the rats are your neighbors. The way I see it, you made your bed, now you gotta lay in that motherfucker right next to him and them bed bugs. And I don't care how good his dick is, Olga, you should have been more like your sister and kept your head in those books instead of giving it to him.